So gaslighting is like a really big problem uh, because most people would say it's when you got some asshole who's going up to their significant other and they're saying whatever you think happened during the course of this argument or flustering or series of events is all completely wrong and that your concept of reality is incorrect. They make people question their sanity and uh, that's not that's not really cool. But I think all people who would agree with this general loose definition are um, actually kind of crazy and wrong. And stupid. Um, and here's why. So. You have gaslighters, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to be right in the scenario, right? And by being right, you'd have to have the other person being wrong. So the whole objective is is you want the uh, want you to be right, and the other person to be wrong. And really, that's just that's just any argument, any argument you want. You're trying to get a situation to happen where the other person like concedes the the battle and. You, and one of the ways to do that is to say you're living in a fever dream, but it goes in line with all the other argument tactics that people use. And this is where I have to make a distinction because arguments are bad. Discussions are much more helpful though. The difference I would make is that a discussion is where you're communicating and sharing ideas to get to some, you know, better end. You're trying to learn something or teach the other person something. It's more like you're on the same team, maybe. It's like, you know, two people go in, like, consensually to try to find a, a better end together. It's it's like, you know, you're, you're using their brain and your own brain to create something that's the value of two brains instead of arguments where it's just like my brain's better than yours die arguments are always ending with a battle of like wit and not a battle of evidence it's not how good your idea is it's how well you are able to express your idea and like in an argument you have people like talking over each other and interrupting and they're like oh but here's my point this is what i have to say this these are my thoughts that make you look wrong it, they're literally in a boxing arena more than they're having a discussion because they'll say stuff but they're not listening right they're just thinking about how they need to talk in order to beat back the other person and it's always the incorrect side the objectively wrong point of view can come out like the victor just by finagling their way and, and snaking through the information and manipulating it to make it look correct it's it's all the same process of like deception. But anyway, you have this stuff. And why do you need to do that? Why do you need to show someone that they are incorrect and that you are correct and that you need to, you know, change their beliefs? Why why is it necessary to use some tools to show why they're wrong? Because I would think ideally all you should have to do is lay out the information on a table and then people would be like, huh, and then they're like, okay, okay. And then they like pick and choose and then they, they interact with it in their brain. And then with that new data, they're able to create a new conclusion that's better. And hopefully it's the, you know, it's the, a better correct conclusion, right? You should be able to just provide information and then people will be able to create deductions and logic their way and reason their way to a better result as is the goal of like a discussion. It's quickly ignored and like looked past to try to communicate better, to try to lay out your information on the table in a better way so that people can interact with it and create a better reality for themselves in the future. You're trying to say, well, if, if this information that I'm providing 
is is there for you and you're not picking it up and seeing why you're wrong then your whole world must be like so random and and crazy like you must have something wrong with you if you can't see this solution the whole thing i'm trying to get at is that when you have two people or more i don't know two people in when they're when they're talking to each other and there are ideas being expressed right you have two options for what this becomes an argument which is gaslighting which is convincing which is uh, uh manipulation all all this stuff right where you're just talking at people and then they either feel bad about it or it just dissolves right or there can be a discussion where it's a lot more um it's a lot more give and take and there's a little bit of listening to it there's a little bit of you know consideration and like all right i'm going to entertain this idea for a little bit and even though i think that they're wrong i need to find a way to communicate why i disagree with their beliefs given my information that i have right how do you lay what you know on the table in a way for other people to see what you have on the table internalize it and be like huh that is a very interesting and compelling set of information that i can learn from how do you do that without being like everything you know and love is stupid and wrong well that's that's a lot that's a little bit gaslighting that's a little bit um you've been programmed to think the stupid thing it's like well that doesn't really help people because calling them crazy obviously is a say it with me is a bad thing i said in the beginning that anybody who believes that questioning someone's sanity is um is a, is a crazy take to have for gaslighting and um i don't from me to you i don't think it's a crazy take to have but i think it's compelling when you say someone is crazy that they immediately go into defense form they immediately start the argument right they they want to engage with that information sometimes you got to sprinkle in a little bit of convincing a little bit of argument in which you know they they got to put up they got to put up the walls a little bit and then they need to be like well this you know they got to you got to make sure that it gets into their brain and then the maybe maybe the cogs will start start whirling you know what i mean um, so i think painting that line of you know not not gaslighting not saying that people are crazy and stupid and wrong for their beliefs but just a little bit of argument so that you can have a discussion um, where people are, are kind of in tune without having the battle part. You don't want the battle, you do want the sharing opinions. that that's helpful okay thanks bye